In our previous lesson, we learned that during the state change of a matter, just the spacing between the particles in the matter changes. But how do particles of a matter come closer or move apart? Actually, these particles inside a matter are not still, not even in solids. They have some energy because of which they are moving. In a solid, the particles cannot change the position, so they are just vibrating. When we heat a solid, its particles vibrate more strongly. As we know, there is a strong force of attraction between the particles of a solid. The energy supplied by heat overcomes the forces of attraction between the particles. Hence, the particles leave their places and start moving more freely. Now, the matter is in liquid state. So, by now, you must have deduced two things from it. First, if the force of attraction between the particles is more, more heat energy will be required for melting. This means the solid will melt at a higher temperature. The second thing is, while melting, the energy is used up to overcome the force of attraction between the particles, which means the temperature remains the same. Once the melting is over, then the heat energy will start increasing the temperature again. So, the particles in water at 0 degree centigrade, that is 273 Kelvin, have more energy as compared to the particles in the ice at the same temperature, that is at 0 degree centigrade. The heat energy used to change the state of matter is called latent heat. The amount of heat energy that is required to change 1 kilogram of a solid into liquid at atmospheric pressure at its melting point is known as the latent heat of fusion. When the liquid is heated, its particle keep gaining more and more energy and there comes a time when they have enough energy to break free from the forces of attraction between each other. The temperature at which a liquid starts boiling at the atmospheric pressure is called its boiling point. Right now, the heat is getting used as the latent heat for overcoming the forces of attraction between the molecules. So, the temperature is not changing. So, when we heat, the particles of the matter gain more energy. They are moving all the time. In the gaseous state, the particles move around freely at high speed. Because of this, the particles hit the wall of the container. The pressure exerted by the gas is actually the calculation of force that the particles are applying on per unit area of the wall while colliding. If we keep blowing air into a balloon, it bursts after some time. This is because more particles are hitting the wall means they are applying more pressure on the wall of the balloon. As the gas molecules move so freely, it neither has a definite shape nor volume. If you give it more space, its particle will move more freely, hence it doesn't have a definite shape. A liquid has no definite shape as its molecules are moving, but it has definite volume as the molecules are still attracting each other and stopping each other from escaping far away. So, we can say 1 liter of water will take a limited space, which means it has a definite volume. And the solid has particles that bind each other with a strong force. Hence, it has a definite shape and a definite volume. That's all for now. Bye-bye.